Mit navn er Jonas Kallern Langvad. Jeg er i SuperOffice øh, til dagligt øh, Head of Sustainability. Udover det er jeg account manager og ansvarlig for en række danske kunder. I min øh, rolle som Head of Sustainability har vi arbejdet med at gøre SuperOffice øh, mere bæredygtig hen over en øh, årrække. Og øh, der har vi taget en, øh, en række initiativer. Det, øh, det team, jeg har samarbejdet med, har blandt andet kigget på, øh, på bæredygtige software, som er en af essenserne i dag. Og hvorfor har vi så det? Det har vi, fordi vi støtter op omkring UN Global Compact. Vi supporter UN Global Compact. Vi har signet op til at være en af de mange, mange virksomheder, der, der, der støtter op om, om det her initiativ fra, fra UN. Og dagen i dag i Mente, så er det måske ekstra vigtigt at stå sammen omkring de her globale initiativer, der blandt andet kommer fra UN. I kender formentlig også de 17 verdensmål, og hvis I ikke gør, så vil jeg anbefale, at I går ind og googler dem. Det er verdensmål, der hæfter sig til Sustainable Software, som, vi, som det handler om i dag. Det er verdensmål nummer 9, og bæredygtigt software, eller bæredygtig infrastruktur på softwaredelen, det er, det, er, det er dagens tema. I SuperOffice har vi fire definerede områder inden for den her kategori, som vi arbejder på. Og det sikrer blandt andet, at vi kan bidrage bare en lille smule til miljøet, en lille smule til, at vi alle sammen kan have det lidt bedre på forskellige parametre inden under bæredygtighed. Og det vil jeg lige hurtigt gennemgå her. Først og fremmest så har vi et projekt Zero Footprint, som skal eliminere alt lokalt installeret software i relation til SuperOffice. Vi mener på baggrund af markedets undersøgelser og globale trends, at lokalt installeret software er en forældet tilgang, og jo mere vi kan dele med hinanden i skyen, i clouden, jo bedre. For eksempel deler færre, eller flere og flere virksomheder deler færre dokumenter i en, i, som en vedhæftet fil i en mail. Og hvorfor gør man det? Det gør man, fordi at bare en fil på 4 megabyte, eller hvad det nu fylder, det er altså nok til, at vi bruger mere CPU, og dermed også bruger mere CO2, som vi jo gerne skal, skal lære ned på. Det gør vi ikke, når vi ikke har noget lokalt installeret, og så er der til med en, en række andre fordele rent software maintenance, altså vedligeholdelsesmæssigt og opgraderingsmæssigt. Step nummer to, vi har taget, det er, at vi gerne vil bruge et moderne kodesprog og moderne standarder for at minimere dataforbrug. Og det er relevant, at vi, at vi koder med så korte kode, kode tekster som overhovedet muligt. Det er der en række standarder for, og, og det har vi valgt at, at tabe ind i. Og når vi skriver, at det kan minimere dataforbrug, så er det hver gang vi kalder en kode i vores software, så koster det CPU, det koster RAM, det koster data storage på vores server, selvom den ligger i clouden. Og hver gang vi forbruger det her, så forbruger vi også CO2, og derfor er det vigtigt for os i SuperOffice, at vi vil gerne være med til at minimere det her. Derfor har vi tappet ind i forskellige standarder og bruger det her moderne kodesprog. Så skal vores user interface designes, så det sikrer, at alle kan arbejde med SuperOffice CRM. Til dagligt har vi rigtig mange kolleger og rigtig mange medarbejdere rundt omkring, der arbejder mange timer om dagen i SuperOffice CRM. Og derfor er det vigtigt, at vi har, at vi har standarder for, hvordan vores user interface skal se ud. Det nytter ikke noget at have hvid tekst på en lys baggrund, så bliver det alt for svært for os at, at arbejde med i flere timer om dagen. Der er blandt andet en standard, der hedder WCAG, som handler om den her web content standard, og det har vi valgt at arbejde videre med, hvor vi sikrer, at vi gør det allerede i stor stil, men vi har valgt at arbejde videre med, så, så mange medarbejdere som overhovedet muligt, uanset hvad man måtte bære med sig i bagagen, kan arbejde med SuperOffice på alle devices. Det sidste punkt som også er det, vi arbejder videre med i dag, det handler om jer. Vi vil rigtig gerne hjælpe jer med at træffe bæredygtige beslutninger. Når vi hjælper jer med at træffe bæredygtige beslutninger, så sikrer vi, at jeres SuperOffice løsning med de tilpasninger, konfigurationer, integrationer osv. Både er så bæredygtige som overhovedet muligt. Det handler om vores miljø, 
vores omgivelser, vores user interface øh, osv. Men det handler også om at, 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 at mindske øh, CO2, og i relation til det, så kan man faktisk også forbedre performance ved at arbejde med de her standarder for, når en kode øh, er bæredygtig og bruger mindre CO2, så er performance ofte også bedre. Det har jeg en norsk øh, kollega til at øh, besvare i dag. Hun hedder Jeanette. Hun er produktspecialist. For at det ikke skal trættes af det norske, har hun lavet en øh, rigtig fin engelsk øh, talende video, som vi har tekstet med danske undertekster, og hun vil tage igennem helt konkrete tiltag for, hvordan I kan tilpasse jeres SuperOffice løsning, hvordan vi sammen kan kigge på, hvordan vores SuperOffice løsning hos jer ser ud, for at den bliver så, så bæredygtig som muligt, og afledt også får den bedst mulige performance. Nu skal jeg lige have teknikken til at virke, og det er en video af Jeanette, som i skal se, den skulle gerne komme her. Hi, and welcome to today's webinar. Today we will talk about sustainable customizations and show you different ways you can adapt SuperOffice to your needs. As your business grows and everything around us changes so fast, you also need to change the way you work and the tools you use. And a CRM solution that cannot change will quickly become outdated and a hinder to how you wish to work. So being able to customize the solution to fit exactly how you work can make a real difference in how you sell and deliver your products and services. And in this presentation, you will get to know the different ways to customize SuperOffice with configurable screens, custom fields, and how to integrate SuperOffice with other platforms or data sources. My name is Jeanette and I work with the customer experience team here at SuperOffice. And my goal is to show you how you can use CRM to build relationships across the entire customer journey and deliver great customer experiences. And if you have any questions on how to get started with your processes or CRM strategy, you can send us a message directly by email, on social media, or you can reach out on our website. And if you want to see the presentation again, It will also be uploaded to our YouTube channel, where you'll find more tips and inspiration. And let's take a look at the agenda for today. And first we will look at why you should use customizations in SuperOffice. Then we'll take a look at different types of customizations, like user-defined fields and lists, and configurable screens and other customizations in service. And then we will take a look at how you can integrate SuperOffice Serum with other platforms or data sources. And at the end, we will give you some tips on how to get started. So why use customizations in SuperOffice? The CRM solution can be used right out of the box and you don't have to customize it to be able to use it. But customizing SuperOffice to the way your team works is helpful in getting them to actually use the solution better and more frequent. And when the system supports your users in their daily work, they're more likely to embrace it. Now let's take a look at some of the benefits. And the first is increased usage. And the studies show that the more intuitive the choices in a CRM system are, the more easily users will adopt it. And then we have increased effectiveness. And when your CRM system reflects the way your users work, the system helps each user to work more efficient. You also get better targeting By customizing your CRM software, you can segment your data on your own values and fields. You also get accurate forecasting. Because if the follow-ups and actions in your CRM system reflect your sales process, you can create more accurate sales reports. And some examples can be to add new list items to SuperOffice. You can add your own user-defined fields. You can add your own document templates or you can create your own project guide. So what does sustainable customizations mean? If you ask Google, one of the examples is that it's able to be maintained at a certain rate or level. 
And that's very important when we're talking about customizations of a business critical system like your CRM solution. It can't be too complex to maintain or make changes. As your business grows, you also need to change the way you work and the tools you use. Not to mention the extra time and cost if you need to bring in experts to update or make new customizations before upgrading the system. So being able to easily customize a solution to fit exactly how you work can make a real difference in how you sell and deliver your product and services. And when we're talking about customizations, we have different set of tools and types of customizations. On the first level, we can make changes with configuration, settings and preferences. And this is done in the admin client inside the solution and are available to everyone using SuperOffice, as long as you have admin rights. We can also extend the SuperOffice functionality with automations and workflows using CRM scripts and macros. We can customize screens and layouts. And these customizations are also done in SuperOffice, but usually you need some in-depth product knowledge, or you can book a CRM or technical consultant to set this up for you. If you're using the cloud version of SuperOffice, you can also use standard applications from our App Store, like for example, Zapier, to connect SuperOffice to other systems. Alternatively, if you can't find a standard app, there are possibilities with our API and you can develop your own integrations and applications that works together with SuperOffice. And all customizations created with these tools are automatically deployed and operated on the platform, ensuring your customizations are sustainable and robust over time. Now let's see some examples in more detail. And the first we'll take a look at is user-defined fields. All companies and organizations have their own requirements for the information they need to register. And this could be for customers, sales, projects, contracts, and so on. And as an administrator, you can add your own fields. So if you have specific information that you want to register in SuperOffice, but your database does not contain the field to save it, you can add any field that it's missing. You can add extra fields to all modules and you can decide what the content of the field should be. And it doesn't matter whether it should be a free text field, a date or a list of preset values. It's all possible. But note that when we're talking about user-defined fields, this is the CRM part. If you use SuperOffice Service, these are called extra fields. And we will show you the difference later on. So what benefits do you get from the information you enter in these fields? Using the find search function, you can search for the information you register in these fields and make dynamic selections. For example, if you register the expiry date of the maintenance agreement that you have with your customers, you can create a dynamic selection that shows the customers for which the agreement expires in less than one month. And you can reuse the information from these fields in documents and emails using template variables. And each field that you add gets its own unique ID, which can be used in documents to merge customer specific information. So if you want to send an email to your customers that says that their maintenance agreement will expire soon, you can use the template variable for expiry date to show the correct expiry date in the message. Then we have lists in SuperOffice. SuperOffice CRM contains many default lists, such as customer categories, activity types, sales types, and many more. But if you want to change the default list to fit your company jargon, and processes, you can easily do so and edit the lists. And the solution is designed to fit the activity types for most businesses, but some might want to create their own. Depending on the type of business your company is in, you can tailor the system to meet your needs. For example, you can customize all the main categories to reflect your types of activities. You can also add new, deactivate unnecessary items and edit existing ones. And some of the lists are more common to make changes on, for example, category, business, company and contact interests, and document templates. 
but you can configure the lists to make it fit the way you work. You can also customize subscription types, privacy lists, or request tags, to name a few. So let's take a look and see how this looks like in Supreface. So we'll start this demo on the company card. And as we can see here on the main page, we have some default lists and fields. A typical example of a list, if I click edit, we have the category, which can be customer, can be ABC, can be VIP, can be lost customer, prospects, and so on. So these are categories you can customize to your specific needs. And this is also great for segmentation when we use selections. Another example is business, which also comes straight out of the box. And you can edit, you can add new, or you can delete certain business categories if you don't need them. And then we've added some user-defined fields, which helps us in our everyday communication or important information we need to know about the customer. And as standard, you can choose three different types of fields to show here on the main card. And these are different fields. We have numbers, it can be date, it can be lists, and more. But if you want to add more fields, this will be displayed in the More tab. So here we can get a lot more information. We have Net Promoter Score. We've added some key numbers like revenue and earnings, when they were onboarded, a date, service control, and system serial number. And these you can see here, these are what we call extra fields in Supreface Service. And we'll also take a look at that in a moment. But as you can see here, we have different kinds of fields. There's checkboxes, there's dates. We can connect to activities. This is a free text field. And decimals. We could also add fields in the form of checkboxes to the interest tab. So here we can have different accounts. We can add campaigns, for example. It's all up to you. And these can be used to segment and use in selections or we can base them on email campaigns. Now these are some customizations we can add or edit on the main card. But then we have other important fields and lists, like for example activities. You can edit or add new activity types, for example, if you have the standard meeting in or meeting out, maybe you can change this to meeting with prospects or customers. So you can set up activity goals based on meeting type and you get better dashboards and reports. We can also change document templates and naming. For example, instead of incoming document, you can archive a contract as a signed contract. Let's add one as an example. Now this makes it easier to find certain documents in the Activities tab. Now let's take a look at how this looks like in Service. Let's go to the same company. And if we press Details, now, as you see here, these are the same fields that we saw on the main card in CRM. And these are fields we've created in service and what we call extra fields. But they will also show up on the main card in Supervisor CRM, as we just saw. So let's jump into the admin client and see how this works. Let's go to settings and maintenance. And from here, we can add, edit or delete lists or fields. 
which you can find here. Let's add a new field. And here are all the custom fields that we've added. The ones we saw on the More tab. And here we'll also see the preview of the extra fields we've defined in Service. Let's add a new one. And in this example, we can add a subscription expiry date. And then we select the type as date. And as we can see here, we also get a template variable name, which I will show you how to use later on. And now it's added here. And we can publish. Go back to CRM. And I will see the field here. So now I can edit, add a date, and save. Now we can use these fields to search or add to a selection. Let's click Find, go to Find Contact, and here we can then search for Subscription, Expire. And then we can add next month. And press find. And here you see the company that we just added the subscription expiry date to. And for example, you can save this as a dynamic selection. So it continues to update based on the month you're in. And you can use it to work proactively and get those subscription renewed. Now, if I want to remind Liberty Communications, I can send them a mail. And we can use a template called subscription expire. And I created this email template with the template variable that you saw when we created the field. So if I click create, it will add the CEO of Liberty Communications, the subject, a predefined text, and it automatically merges the date that we added in the subscription expired field. I can press send and archive. And now you find the email automatically archived on the company card. So when you've customized your fields and lists in Superoffice, then the next step is to configure the layout. And the new screen designer that we've introduced in Supervis 10 lets you configure the layout of the company and contact screens to fit your information needs and workflows better. For example, you can create different layouts to match the needs of different teams and user groups in your company. And with configurable screens, you can get more options to configure your CRM solution to fit your specific needs. For example, you can add new fields and you can position the fields where you want. You can hide the fields that you never use and make important custom fields easy to access. You can use different screen layouts for different user groups and reduce information noise to help users to find information easily and stay focused on what matters most. And to change the layout, we need to go back to settings and maintenance. And you'll find the screen designer here. Now we already have two layouts published. One is the default layout and the other one is specifically for the customer service team. Now we can add a new one and base it on the default layout and call it sales. We'll add the sales user group and click OK. Then we'll make some changes to the layout. 
We can add new fields, we can add new tabs, or we can change the appearance of the layout. Now we'll add a discount field, and we can add the subscription expire field. Let's make this bold. And then we have a link here that says link to LinkedIn profile. Let's delete this one and add a new element. We want it to stand out a bit more, so we can add a button. And then we'll add a link. Add a style. Remember to also add a name. And when we're done, we can save and publish. Now we can go back to Superface and see the changes. We can now see the discount and the subscription expire with the bold text. And we have a new button that takes us to the LinkedIn profile. Now let's take a look at how you can integrate Superoffice with other platforms or data sources. And you can scale up and customize your solution with apps. The Superoffice App Store showcases amazing apps and helps you extend functionality and discover new possibilities with the cloud version of Superoffice CRM. And we have over 120 apps in our App Store and you can enjoy apps that will help you increase your productivity, customize your CRM solution, and offer a better online experience. Now let's jump into the App Store to take a look and see some examples of apps we can use to customize and extend our solution. You can find App Store by searching for online.superoffice.com slash App Store. And you can also find a link on our main website, but you can also find it inside Superoffice. You find it here, and this will take you straight to the website. Now here you can search for apps. You can also filter by if it's available by country, if it's free or paid, or you can choose by category. You can also see new or updated apps. But today I'll only show you a few examples. The first one we can take a look at, which is very popular, is to connect your ERP system to Superoffice. And here you will find standard integrations to the most popular ERP systems. So you can streamline your business processes and get important information and key numbers from your ERP system to Superoffice. If you scroll down, you will find many different options. And you can also sort by name, vendor name, most popular, And you can filter. Let's take a look at another app called Panels. So when you're adding new fields and lists and document templates and more activities, you can sort and search and find your most important Superoffice CRM archives with Panels. So for example, the signed contract templates that we added, we can now add to a separate tab so it's easy to find. And here we'll find more information about the app. You'll find photos, a demo video, and more information in the description. So you can add activity panels, documents. You can have a panel for Google Maps, for mailings and sales, and sales history. And you can also create PDFs of existing documents in an instant. Another great thing is that you can filter on all popular types, like activity, document, sales and status, and they're all fully searchable. Another important app we can take a look at is Zapier. And this is great if you want to connect 
SuperOffice to other systems, and power your workflows with automation. And you can find over a thousand other web apps in Zapier. And Zapier works by pushing data between applications through a trigger and action process called a Zap. And we'll also take a look at this app in more detail in an upcoming webinar. But you will find great examples here and a demo video. Another app you can use to connect to other systems is Databridge. So with this one, you can also synchronize SuperOffice Serum with other back office systems, but using spreadsheets and other sources. And we will take a look at this shortly. If you can't find what you're looking for in the App Store, you also have the possibility of making your own app. So you can search for custom app. And here you will find more information on how you can create your own customizations and integrations. But now let's take a quick look at one of the apps, Databridge, to see how we can easily exchange information between other systems and SuperOffice. And Databridge add-on is a generic integration tool that lets you set up and schedule automatic data transfers between SuperOffice CRM and any other cloud solution you might use. For example, you can exchange data between SuperOffice CRM and your ERP or e-commerce system or another backend solution that holds or shares information with SuperOffice CRM. So you enable SuperOffice CRM users to view information from other databases helping to improve your CRM adoption, increase productivity, reduce manual data entry and flip-flopping between various applications. Databridge for SuperOffice is a clean, quick and intuitive way to interact with your data in multiple ways. And it provides you with import-export opportunities for all SuperOffice CRM objects. You can log in using SuperOffice or with a password. And then give it an overview and you can create a new profile. Give it a name and select location. We can select Dropbox in this example. And the destination, which is SuperOffice. And then you need to authorize the connection to Dropbox and then select the file you wish to import. In this example, we would choose a file from ERP. And we will keep this demo short, so we will skip a few steps like transform and configuring the fields. And then we will jump into connecting and setting up duplicate match and what kind of actions. And we also want to add this to selection. And then you can select the scheduling if you want it manual, scheduled or triggered, when you want to schedule it, and if you want any notifications. And then you get a summary. And we can save. And when the job is done, you will get a notification by email. Giving you a summary. And you can click directly to the selection. And here you see all the updated companies. We can preview or we can click and go directly to the company card. So here you can see the fields updated. And if you go to the more tab, you'll get more information from the ERP system. So now that we've seen different ways to customize SuperOffice, how do you get started? You can customize SuperOffice to fit your business model and needs through options available in the settings and maintenance module. And you don't need any special license to use the standard customization tools available here. You're free to customize your solution using, for example, your definition of lists, 
privacy settings, templates, and user-defined fields, as long as you have administrator rights. However, sometimes you need more than what is available out of the box. And this means customizations like extra tables and custom screens in service, or configuring the layout of screens with the screen designer. And for those instances, we have development tools, which contains a range of tools and add-ons you can use to create customizations of your Super Office CRM solution. And previously known as Expander Services, the developer tool subscription now gives you the configurable screen capability, as well as access to tools like macros, scripting, extra tables and custom screens for service, a development sandbox environment, as well as the ability to add custom apps to your solution. And as always, your Supervisor representative is more than happy to provide you with more information about developer tools and tell you more about the possibilities. And if you want to learn more about Superoffice and today's topic, here are some tips. First of all, you could always view this presentation again or share it with your colleagues. The webcast will be uploaded on our YouTube channel and website. And if you want to learn more on sustainable customizations, we also have a second webinar coming up on how to automate your processes in Superoffice. And you can check out upcoming events on our website for more info. And we've also released a new help center and community, an all-in-one hub for all your customer support and self-help needs. And we've updated and improved the design, the login experience, the search capabilities, and the website structure. And here you'll find learning materials such as how-to guides, videos, tips, best practices, and training options. You'll find support and FAQs, product and updates, and new customer forums where you can ask and answer questions. And if you want to learn more about how to add fields, lists, and basic customization, you can check out the admin guide under the learning section. In addition, our CRM consultants will be happy to help you with configuration workshops, design implementation, training, and much more. A new Superoffice sales contact or partner will be available to answer any additional questions you might have and to help you obtain access to developer tools. Now that's all we have for now. Thank you for following along. And we hope that you got some inspiration to customize your CRM solution. Remember all the benefits, you'll get increased usage, increased effectiveness, better targeting, and more accurate forecasting. I wish you all a super day. Så er jeg tilbage, og jeg håber, der er lyd på. Jeg kan også se, at der har været en lille smule aktivitet i chatten. Det vender jeg lige tilbage til om et øjeblik. Først og fremmest vil jeg lige slå et slag for vores del 2, Sustainable Customization, som er den 10. marts, også kl. 10, hvor også de her 50 minutter, altså et lidt kortere webinar, hvor vi hurtigt kan nå det meste, og øh, der går vi lidt mere i dybden, og især med automatisering og integration. 